I'd like to show you how we've added the new Verilog A and Spice views into uh, version 15. First, uh, what we've done is added a new view uh, under the cell menu, new types. So when you select cell new view, you can now, uh, s instead of just adding schematic, you can now drop this down and you can select either Spice or Verilog A in addition to the previous symbol and schematic views that we had. Um, if you add Spice or Verilog A, what will happen is that will create <clears throat> a new view that allows you to paste in the Spice or Verilog A code directly into the view. Um, so let me show you a couple of views that we've already created. If I s open up my Spice view for this Ring VCO, you can see that I've pasted in my subcircuit definition into this view. And if I open up my Verilog A view, I've pasted in the Verilog A code for this definition for this Ring VCO cell. And I still have the existing schematic view for the same cell. So now what I can do is I can go back to my top level and when I want to netlist I can go into my setup simulation and there's a new selection here called hierarchy prior priority. If I go into there um, you can see that I can specify the cell name, the view name, and then I can specify this view type. So right now I'm set to schematic but I can drop this down and select either my Spice or my Verilog A view as well. When I'm going to leave it as schematic and if I now netlist by clicking open in T-Spice, then you can see that my Ring VCO gets brought in as a sub-circuit directly from the schematic that was created. Okay. Alternately, if I go in here and select Spice instead, I can netlist now. And when I netlist, you can see now my Ring VCO is much larger and is using the entire net list that was pasted into that window. And then lastly, if I want to use the Verilog A view, all I have to do is select Verilog A for my priority. And now when I net list out, Instead of having a sub-circuit, it adds in this state HDL statement, which is a link to the Verilog A code, and it saves the Verilog A code that was written into that cell view uh, into its own file um, in the same directory as where the SPICE file is located. So you'll see that here. You can now see the ring vco.va file located here. So that gives you an easy way to create multiple views when you want to netlist out different ways. You can start with your behavioral level simulation using Verilog A, and then you can replace that easily with a spice uh, simulation by just pasting in the code into the new view, all within S edit in your schematic. Thanks for listening.